I love kitty cats. The chaotic here because we have all the kitty cats and everything. We have kitty, I'm sorry. So, unfortunately. Nani? Okay. They're my favorite thing. But you know what I love more than cats? Flying around aimlessly in Minecraft, doing absolutely nothing, pretending to be a productive YouTuber. The only problem is, I'm running out of fireworks. Getting tired of grinding on the creepers too. So what we're going to do, we're going to be producing a firework factory. But in order to produce firework factory, we're going to need kitty cats. And lots of them. So on this episode, we're building a kitty cat farm. The reason why we need the cats is because our creeper farm, just to build, you know, we're going to be building a super one in the next episode. It's literally going to be a firework factory. It's going to be insane. But in order to build it, just for one layer, we're going to need four cats. So in total, we are probably going to need, I don't know, probably somewhere around 20 something cats just to get this done. So we're going to build this in the shulker box. Here is the items that you need. So you want to bring along at least 15 plus one block or stack of builder blocks. Anyways, this is going to be the spawning platform for the cats, five beds, two iron bars, eight trap doors, probably some torches. I don't know if this is going to be enough. We'll find out. I don't know if you need workstations for this as well. I don't know. I'm just going by the wiki here. So you're also going to need enough to bring a chute and as well as a portal. So bring along your portal materials, probably a half stack or a stack of glass, as well as two water buckets to push the cats into the portal. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, I was going to build it way up here, but this is just going to be way too difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to find ourselves a nice little flat area. This right here is perfect. Now, while I was flying around trying to figure out where I was going to build this thing, look at what I discovered. Look at what I discovered. This is dangerous. It's dangerous. Look at this. A zombie spawner. Right here. Right at the surface. Exposed. Exposed. Okay, so if you guys want this world seed, I'll leave a link in the description or I'll put the seed in the description. Okay, so there's a spawner. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's a spawner right down there inside the mountain. The base is right here, and quite literally, when you spawn into the map, you're right over there in that little area down there. So, spawner below us in the cave, spawner over there in the thing. Let's get going! Okay, first thing we're going to do for this build is we're going to build up probably about five or six blocks into the air. Okay, once we think we are up high enough, let's go just a few more just in case. We're going to put down a bed and go to sleep. Okay, once you are five or six or eight blocks in the air, what you're going to do is you're going to build a 32 by 32 platform. This is so that the cats can spawn onto it. All right. So, okay, so it doesn't matter if it's here from the central point or whatever, but I'm going to stay away from that mountain over there. So we will build ours off in this direction. So I'm going to go, you know, probably 32 that way, 32 this way, and I'll see you when we're done. Okay, once you have your 32 by 32 platform done, what you're going to do is basically just find the center area somewhere. I don't think this has to be exact, but whatever. And what you're going to do is you're going to dig out a little 3 by 3 hole for yourself. Once you have that done, you're going to place down your three trap doors with three more on the other side, one in between. And right here in the middle is where you're going to put an iron bar with a temporary block on top of it and then an iron bar on top of that. Remove this temporary block. And now what we're going to do is we're going to jump and build up two blocks. Put another temporary one on top of this. And then we are going to go one, two, three, and then back. That should make five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. And this is where we are going to put our five beds down on top. Once you have your five beds down on top, you can remove all these temporary blocks from the bottom here. We're going to build our way back up and then surround this entire bed area here with blocks that are going to be one above the beds. So just a little, you know, slight gap like that. Okay, now what you can do if you would like, this is completely up to you. If you want to turn this so that you can use these farmers for anything or use these villagers for anything, you can place down whatever workstations you would like these guys to have. Make sure they are closed in. And then this is where you can get your villagers in place. So what you need is five villagers in total for this farm. And then after this, we need to go out and get ourselves a little bunny rabbit and bring him over to this farm as well.
Okay, once you have your villagers in place, they should all be nice and comfy like this. We want to leave your rail system up because what we need to do now is go out, find ourselves a bunny rabbit somewhere, put him in a minecart, and then get him up and on top of this bar here. Now this seems like it could be a little tricky, but all we're doing is just going to go like this with a temporary block in front. Then we will run our rails up and basically just run the rabbit on the minecart right into this so that he'll stop there right on top of this iron bar. Okay, so that is the setup there. Like I said, once we get our bunny up in place, we can remove all of this and then he will remain there in position. Now let's go for a hunt. We need a bunny rabbit. We need a bunny rabbit. First things first though, do we have one? Nothing there. Yep, yeah, there they are there. Okay, so we need at least maybe bring two just in case. Now, hunt time. Here, Mr. Bunny Rabbit. I promise these, uh, these kitty cats won't hurt you. Does a chicken work? I wonder if a chicken works. Luckily, there is a tag biome, as you can see, very close to the base. So there should be, hopefully, some bunny rabbits in here somewhere. So what we're looking for, like I said, is Taga. Yeah, okay, there it is. Now we just need to get away from this fire and start to look for a little bunny rabbit. I want to be careful for things like this as well, too. Yeah, bunny, bunny, bunny. Where are you? I just want to enslave you so that I can make kitty cats and enslave the kitty cats as well, too. Here, bunny. Here, bunny, bunny, bunny. Crikey, you see that? You see that? It's a rabbit footprint. We're, we're close. We're close, boy, guys. We're super close. Like a great man used to say. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> ah! Come. Come here. Come here. Come here. You're mine. Oh, look at how cute he looks. Hello, little bunny. I'm sorry, but you must come with me back to the base. Stay close, friend. We will get you there. Don't worry, I will have carrots. I will have all kinds of things for you. Once we get back to the base, though. I don't have any on me now. Well, now, let me tell you, that was a bloody nightmare. While we were doing our adventure, we had a random wolf come up and just randomly attack our bunny rabbit. Now, why'd you have to go and do that? Huh? Why'd you gotta do that? Now you make me do the unthinkable. Oh my goodness. Crap. That friggin' a-hole turned this 10 minute video into a 45 minute one. Thanks, bud. Anyways, now that we've got our buddy in place, all we have to do is just run our powered rails down. Send this guy on up to the thing here. Probably gonna have to replace some of these with powered rails, you idiot. And now all we should have to do, because we have him in place, yep, we have him in place is just send our minecart down to collect our bunny rabbit. I didn't power the rails! Okay, so again, that is send our minecart down in order to collect our bunny rabbit nope. for us. Really, bunny? Okay, it's gotta work this time. Send our minecart down to grab our bunny rabbit. He will send on up into his little place and then we can start to remove all of this junk here. Okay, once you have this junk here removed, all we need to do is light up this platform. You leave me alone. So that nothing else can spawn up here. We don't want any mobs spawning in this area, obviously. Even if we do, you know, at least they've got their protector, their guardian. Ooh, and as you can see, the cat farm is already working. Now all we need to do is get away from this guy and we can show you an example of how this farm is going to work. So basically, if we just sit over here, maybe, maybe it'll happen. Okay, so as you see in there, that is how the farm works. The iron bar is definitely enough. Now all we need to do is build our little collection pit with the portal and we should be good to go. Okay, once you have your little catch pit complete, this is what it should look like here. Now all you have to do is just light the portal, close this in here, add ourselves our water source. And we should be good to go. We might want to add another one here in this corner. Once you have that done, all you have to do is I've run out of glass, close this in, and we are good to go. Now all we have to do is just climb ourselves back up. We may want to get out of here. Whoop! 
probably want to light up the area too in order to stop these guys from spawning below your farm because you do not want that to happen hey bud hey bud get out of here as you can see we have some cats down here already too because they fell through the hole so we're gonna have to take care of them okay once we have that all complete what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fall down and go through to the nether here we're probably gonna end up at our same portal that we did before yep i didn't bring any gold you guys won't attack me if I hurt your buddies, yep. Yeah? Okay, good. All right, and now what we're going to do is, you know, probably may want to build this away from your base somewhere, but we're just going to dig ourselves out a little opening here. This is where all the cats will fall down and into. Okay, we'll close this all in so that way no cats can escape. Do the same for the other side. Okay, and then we're going to go back through. And now all of our cats should end up here once they start spawning, and we should be good to go. Now I did end up back over here, which is fine, although I am running out of fireworks, which is the whole point to this farm. And now all we have to do is basically, it doesn't matter which corner, but we want to make sure that we are out and away from everything else. So I'm going to choose this corner. I'm going to build out into the wide open somewhere out here. We're going to AFK. We'll watch these cats kind of spawn in, see how they work, and then we will go from there. Okay, now we'll just go away here see what we get and uh yeah i'm actually gonna leave the video here too as well so thank you so much for watching boys again like i said the support for this channel has been phenomenal as of rate as of le words as of recently i cannot thank you guys enough you guys are all amazing once 1.6 comes or starts or whatever on the 23rd or 24th whenever it's released we're gonna have a series actually starting a proper one too not like the last one where i kind of just started it had no plan and then kind of just went with it we're actually gonna do a real series proper series so stay tuned we have five or six new drops coming this week for the relentless output brand so thank you again youtuber stuff don't forget to smash that like button hit the subscribe also hit that notification so that way you are aware of whenever i post a new video thank you again for watching and i'll catch you boys on the next one peace oh my god look at them all <laughs>